five months ago, I invested over $10,000 into GPU mining. What this is, is taking graphics cards and basically mining cryptocurrency with them. Today's video, we're gonna take a look at my profits over the past five months, how close am I to making back my $10,000 investment, and how much am I making every day? We're gonna take a look at my full crypto portfolio. I'm Jack from Modern Mining. Subscribe to follow along my crypto mining journey. So I like to start every month with the big crypto mining news that happened that month. And this month there was a couple big things, some bad and some very good for GPU miners. First one was that Zephyr, the coin that I've been CPU mining on just one single Ryzen 3600 has crashed big time. So if we take a look at the three month chart here, it's gone from around $26 to $3 in the past three months. But in the last one month, it's gone from $10 down to three. And there was some drama with the Zephyr project. I'm not really super up to date on it, but I do know that the Zephyr stable coin was able to hold up during all this selling. So that's technically good news for the Zephyr project. I'm still continuing to mine Zephyr on my one CPU because it uses 40 watts a day and who knows, maybe it'll bounce back. So that's the bad news. The good news is that Zealous is a new GPU mineable coin that was released basically at the start of this month. And it's brought GPU mining profitability from my 24 GPUs were making about, let's see, 25 cents per day total across all of them to now my farm is making about eight to $10 in profit per day. But we'll get into that more later. So Zealous has been a great addition this month. Really hoping the price keeps going up because it's saving GPU mining right now, literally. Now what everyone's been waiting for, the portfolio reveal. Well, this is my portfolio for the month. We are sitting at $4,600, which is slightly over last month. Last month was about $3,850, so about $150 more. But when we dig into the numbers, it's actually a lot better than it seems. Neoxa continues to just be a big drag on the entire portfolio and that's really hurting what the profits look like in these videos. But if we only look at the mineable coins, profits have been pretty good and we're making some good progress on hitting that $10,000 ROI. So let's dig into these numbers a little bit. I'll pop up on screen what my portfolio looked like last month. The first big change you'll notice is in the pie graph is that Neoxa is down to 40% from 53.5%. And that's a continuing trend from month to month as Neoxa tanks in price. And as I mine these other coins, Neoxa is gonna be, get to be a smaller and smaller portion of my portfolio, which is good. I don't need a coin that small being a large portion of my portfolio. But the, the big jump this month was Bitcoin is now worth 37% of my portfolio. And if we take a look down here, I've got $1,500 worth of Bitcoin and I'm 22% of the way to hitting that 0.1 mark, which will be pretty sweet. That's something that's a goal of this channel. I want to get to that 0.1 Bitcoin mark sooner rather than later before it really starts taking off, especially with the ETFs adding additional liquidity and more people from traditional finance getting into Bitcoin. Even just people who are putting... 1% of their retirement accounts into Bitcoin, that's gonna add up over time. So the quicker I can get to that 0 0.1 number, the better. So if we scroll down a little bit, we can see that I've got $77 of Zealous right now. And that is a new addition since last month, since Zealous didn't even exist last month. I've got about three Zealous right now, and I'm probably gonna get up to about the five number and then just go back to selling into Bitcoin. But Zealous did go on a crazy price run this these past few days. It jumped all the way up to $38 at one point from it was hovering around 18 to 20. So that was a huge increase. Um, and that was when I decided that, all right, I should probably get a small bag, 5, 10 coins before I go back to switching other coins into Bitcoin. So let's talk about why my current balance of 4,000 is only $150 more than last month. Because with how profitable GPU mining has been this month, you would think that it should be higher. I should have made $500 this month. Well, Neoxa continues to drag down 
the whole portfolio because it's my biggest holding. So right now my Neoxa have 1 million, 10,000. You need 1 million to get a node and I bought a node for $3,000, but unfortunately my Neoxa is only worth $1,636 now. So it's basically a 50% drop, which hurts, but it's such a small coin that it'll bump back up at some point, we hope at least. The thing about percentages is that a 50% drop means we need a 100% increase just to get back to where we were. And a 75% drop means that we need a 3x to get back to where we were. So they aren't correlated like you would kind of think they are. The bigger the drop, the much higher percent gain you need to at least get back to where you were. But right now we only need basically a doubling of Neoxa to be back to where we were, which should be possible when altcoin season rolls around, hopefully at the end of this year and start of next year. So part of why our portfolio doesn't look better than last month is that Neoxa is down $400 since last month's video. So if we had that $400, our portfolio would be sitting at 4,400. Alephium is also a big reason our portfolio doesn't look better this month than last month. Right now we have 220 Alephium, which is 20 more than last month. I've sold some of my mine coins and bought a little bit more Alephium since you can't really GPU mine it anymore. But unfortunately, Alephium is all the way down at 160. And last month it was at 240. So we went from having $475 of Alephium last month to only having 350. So that plus the Neoxa loss, our portfolio should be sitting at like $4,600, which looks a lot better than it really does. But like I said in the last video, when the markets are down like this, it's more important to look at the quantity of coins than it is to look at the dollar value because if our thesis is correct, all of these coins are gonna go up in price over the next year or two, and that's kind of what we're banking on. So really the only other additions are 18 Ironfish, that's $20 from when I was dual mining Pyron and Ironfish, and $50 worth of Pyron, 1500 Pyron. I figured might as well hold a little bit of those and see what happens. So that's the main differences in the portfolio. Let's take a look at what I'm currently making profit-wise, both from mining and from my master node, because this $10,000 investment is basically split $7,000 into GPU mining and $3,000 into my Neoxa node. So I need to calculate both of those when I'm talking about profitability. Starting off first, the Neoxa smart node. If we go to masternodes.online, you can see that a daily income of a Neoxa node is $1.7. You get paid out every two days. So basically three and a half dollars every two days, or what is that? Seven, six to $700 a year. So really still not horrible, but as the price of Neoxa continues to drop, the rewards, at least in dollar amount, continue to drop as well. So that's why I've decided to stop selling my node rewards. If you remember last month, I had started to sell my Neoxa rewards because I already had too much Neoxa. I didn't need to take my million coins to like 1.5 million. I didn't need to do that. But right now when Neoxa is on such a downtrend and I need to get back up to that break even point of like 3150 is what I bought my node for. It doesn't really make sense to sell my node rewards for $2 a day. That's just pocket change. So I may as well just stack that Neoxa and maybe get 1.2 million so that even if Neoxa goes back to 80% of what I bought it for, then I'm still gonna break even because of those node rewards. Now, if those node rewards go back to being $5 a day, then I probably will switch back to selling them into Bitcoin or another coin that I actually wanna accumulate since I already have so much Neoxa. But as far as the GPU farm, this is where things are looking a lot better, is I've been mining Zealous for the past month, basically, and I'm earning, it looks like $16 a day the past 24 hours. And you saw in the intro video, my whole farm is using about 3,150 watts. So let's calculate what our power cost is so we can actually get our profit number because this $16 is just revenue. So if we go into my farm, we can see 3,150 watts. If you, if you don't know how to get your power cost in HiveOS accurate, I'll link this video up in the cards above, and this will show you how to actually dial in that so your HiveOS numbers are right 99% of the time. So we can see here that we're using $8 of power a day. 
and that would mean that we are profiting about eight dollars a day right now just on gpu mining which is pretty good considering there was a few weeks where we were literally making a quarter for the whole farm so eight dollars a day is very welcome and that's pretty nice that's 250 bucks a month basically and just a few days ago before a ton of people were mining zealous profits were looking closer to 15 dollars a day sometimes getting close to 20 dollars a day which in that case would be like 600 bucks a month so very good profits right now let's hope it keeps up so if we put those numbers together i'm basically making 10 dollars a day between the node and gpu mining or 300 dollars a month which would mean that we still have if our total portfolio right now is worth four thousand we still have six thousand dollars left until we break even so that would be about 20 more months of mining and node rewards and then we should hit our ten thousand dollar break even point and that's going to be nice because everything after that will just be profits basically so i'd like to remind everyone at the end of these videos what gpu mining is all about so if you only look at my crypto holdings of 4,000, you would think I still have $6,000 until I break even. But the whole point of crypto mining is that you have the hardware too. I have 24 GPUs that are mining that I could sell if I wanted to. So those have some value that I need to account for in my channel net worth. So it's actually 25 GPUs if you count the one I'm filming this video on. It's not mining right now because it's hot in this office, but during winter time it would be. But with those 25 GPUs, I could sell them for $6,700, which puts the channel net worth at $10,700, meaning we're technically already $700 in the profit, and that's gonna rise exponentially once the crypto coins themselves start going up. So that's the monthly update. If you wanna know when I think altcoins are gonna take off, check out this video and see if you still have time to get into GPU mining before it's too late. See ya.